welcome back to another video on Dyson Sphere Program. I'm Ami Durf, and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. So, yeah. I don't know how long I've been AFK, but I've been AFK for uh, quite some time. Right? All my problems still can. They're still here. And. It's not getting better. It's only getting worse. Alright. My Graviton lenses. This is what we got going on. Yeah. <laughs> it's not going good at all. That's just the local planet. If we go. Entire star cluster. Right? I have been AFK for a while. And that's all we're getting. Man, I don't even know. But I'm using more space whoppers than I'm doing. Than I'm uh, creating at this point. But everything's slowing down. Everything. I had 50,000 in here. The reason why that's going down is because I don't have enough iron. I'm not getting enough iron because I'm not making enough warpers and it's not bringing in the iron for me. I truthfully do believe I uh, should not have done such a massive scale off the start. I think that is where my issue is. So, get a good look. We're starting over. We've made it quite far. But... In the end, I think I built way too much infrastructure to do this. And at this point, I think my only decision is to go AFK for hours on end. Where I don't even know if that's going to work because I might run out of power due to this stuff or, or something. I don't, I'm not even sure. And it's not that they're not coming in. They are. They're just coming in real slow. There's a few of them. They're coming in very, very slowly. There was more earlier. It's slowing down. I'm not making enough warpers to do it. Thus, everything is just kind of at a standstill. Yeah. I definitely didn't advance fast enough. And then I built way too much. I have too much need, not enough supply here. I'm consuming more than I can make. So I've decided to start over. I decided a new game would be the way to go. And the way to do it would be a lot slower and not as massive as what I've done here. I mean, maybe I'm sure the massive part works later. Like, say when I'm at this point, we could do something really massive. But I'm pretty certain I went about this the wrong way. I'm very certain I went about this the wrong way. Considering at this point in the game, I can't go anymore. Like, I need to make titanium glass. Right? And these guys. Uh, the, the crystals in order to get this stuff going right but to make the crystals where was it nope not there there was something oh that's right it was these guys the quantum chips to make the quantum chips I needed these guys which I'm, I'm failing on the circuit boards because I don't have the iron thus holds that back and then this thing I think we can handle that if I were to make them right now I could set something up I think that all works, except for something. I don't remember what, what was in the way of this. But either way, in the end, the problem is I'm not making enough warpers, and I can't actually make chips without my iron that I'm not getting enough iron with. I'd have to like shut down my entire facility to, to stop the iron production, and then... You know what? This whole thing's a mess. All right. Everything I've done is... A, Freaking mess. I have no order, no control, no nothing going on here. It's all one big gigantic mess. And to go around and shut everything down, it's just, it'll be nuts. So I've decided a fresh start might be the way to go. So we're going to start a new one right now. And I don't know if that's going to overwrite this save or what, or you know, that goes 128 hours. But anyway, let's start a new game. Here we go. Just so I have really no control over this, I'm going to leave it at 1, right where we were, right? And I'm just going to hit random a few times. And we're going to go with whatever cluster seed we end up getting. Alright. Wow, that guy's way out there. You know what? I want them in the box, though. 
That's all I want. I want everybody in the box-ish. Like this one. Perfect. Alright. Everything's in the box, so it's not a huge amount of travel, but it's still there. Here we go. Let me load in, and I'll be back. Alright. Well, here we are. Here we go. First things first, we need to actually make 10 of these guys. Yet you have not unlocked the construction menu, which will be done automatically when complete any technology research. Click the technology tree button at the bottom right of the screen to open the technology tree and yep. activate a research. But I don't have 10. That's okay, I guess. I did have 10. My bad. I might have wasted some of the things they gave me. I wasn't paying attention then. Whoops. Well, anyway. Here we go. Here's how we'll get going. Here's our power. Here's our setup. We'll get moving on. Now, hmm. I will do this in a different way. <clears throat> you have created a mining machine to achieve yeah. ore collecting automation. Pick it up from the inventory or select it on gathering of construction menu to build it. You can use the R All key right. to rotate the mining machine for covering more veins. The more veins covered, the faster the ores will be gathered. If you want to ignore grid snapping, try holding down the shift key. So, I'll take what I've learned and hopefully wind turbine set up. You some have established stuff. your first okay, power man. grid. I forgot Not that you're going to talk so much. Has its power <clears throat> supply area. Use the Tesla tower to extend the area of the power grid. Yep. You have done building the first power transmission facility, Tesla right, Tower. Man. It can carry out short distance wireless power transmission and what expand the power here? supply area of the power grid. Click on it to view the current power grid information. All right. So we're going to play very close attention to the stats this time. Stats are going to be a very important thing. And I'm going to try to do not too much uh, off camera work. Yeah, that's the, the hope anyway. We'll see how this goes. I don't know. But knowing what I know, I'm hopeful that I can uh, do a lot better job than One I One of your production time. facilities is not powered. Well, I know You need not. to keep it within the power coverage area and supply it with power facilities in order to maintain its normal works. Yeah, I gotcha. We'll keep grabbing. Keep this thing working at the moment. This, I need to craft up a bunch of little things. Let's go. So let's keep this stuff going as close as we can. Right. I don't know how I'm going to handle all of this, but we're going to go for it. Let's we'll see what happens. So it says I can make one. Oh, because of these guys. These guys, let's make a ten. Yeah, early game crafting. Man, I forgot about all of this. That's okay. How are we doing here anyway? Oop, well, we gotta take that out. Let's see what our power looks like. No, oh, not too good. That's alright, though. We can keep this thing going. We'll make two of them. While that's doing its stuff, you know, we're still collecting. This thing got stuck because I don't have these things crafted up. But uh, we've got to get to that research lab because that's what we're going to start doing. We're going to immediately do things in a slower, slower way in hopes that I don't have too much of an issue as I did last time. That's, that's what I'm hoping for anyway. And but, there we go. All right. I like relying on more of a renewable thing, so I'm hopeful this is the better way to go. But we're going to adventure out into other stuff anyway, so we'll see how this goes. Let's see, we could do five, five, yep. Then this, we want ten of those. All right. I'll let it do its thing. What do we have for power going? Not too good. we got to make another one of these guys. 
I mean, we're going to need a couple of these while we're at it. Because we got to come over this way and start harvesting on that. We also want to get that thing going too, so let's make one more of those. And we'll be back after all this crafting is done, and it'll probably start doing this research as well. So, we'll let it do its stuff, and I'll be right back. Alright, so the name of this one, doing this restart, is going to be to see how fast I can catch up to where I was with not as much infrastructure as I had. That's the, the hope to this whole thing. Oh, I need to craft those up, huh? It won't do it for me. Crap. Okay. That's unfortunate. There we go. At least with that thing doing its own, we can start up now. It's such a slow walk. Oh, man. I forgot what that's going to be like. I definitely forgot what this was going to feel like. With the slow start. There we go. At least now that thing's got power to our little bit of a power system that we have going on. And that is how I'm going to get my power. How are we doing? We're doing good so far. All right. At least this way, I'm at least generating power. What do we got now? What did we get? I forgot. Okay, we got the lab. Yeah, that's right. That's right, we got the lab now. I think we're going to want two of them. Now... Uh, because I can't move around. Matrix too fast. Lab. Okay. You can yeah, use you it talk. to make super matrices or research technologies that require them to unlock. The super mm -hmm. matrices are the source code of the center brain for maintaining the home world. You can upload as many super matrices to the center brain as possible. You can be benefit to unlock more actual world technologies by operating the home world simultaneously. Okay. When being outside of building there range, we go. More you can hold down the shift key and use the right mouse button to click on the open space to control the mecha to move. Oops, there we go. Come on, give me that one more. Or not, I guess we'll go with that. All right, put this guy there. We're gonna need some more of those. There we go. Now the thing we need the most of... Okay, let's get some gears. There we go. How many we got? We need 10? Hit 10. Now at least this way. How far can we go? Right there. Doing it in this method should be better than what I was doing before. If I recall, last time I ended up like manually harvesting everything for quite some time. Again, I'm hopeful that I can get through a lot quicker than I did last time. We'll see. We're um, immediately going right for the storage and right for the, the conveyor belts. And we got to get right into this and right into crafting this stuff up. Which means I also need to get this guy going and this one going. All right. That's you have received the sorter and the conveyor yet. belt, which can achieve full automation now. Use the conveyor belt to transport the piled up ores from the mining machine, and the sorter can deliver the ores right. from the conveyor belt to the smelter for automatic smelting. We want four, but we don't have enough. Can I click it from here? No. Oh, that's right. I could jump. I can't fly. My bad. We're going to want one more. Come on. Let me get here. Okay, we're going to need at least one storage per one, right? We're going to end up wanting a very good amount of that. And we'll grab ten of those, and we'll be back. Beginning is always so slow. Alright, now that that stuff 
Let's kind of craft it up a little bit to get this guy kind of close. I feel like they're not going to line up the way I want it to. When putting a conveyor belt, all you need to do is what? determine the starting okay. point and the end point of it. In addition, use the up arrow key to lift up one level, and use the down arrow key to drop down one level after the conveyor belt is lifted. Press keypad zero to reset the construction height of the conveyor belt to the ground. If you don't want the conveyor it belt does. to be attached to the building, you can try holding down the shift key. You built a storage, I did. which can be used to store cargo. You can manually store or use the sorter to automatically stock the cargo. The sorter is a transportation connector of cargoes between facilities. All right. It will automatically transport go. them as long as the supply facility and the receiving facility are bridged. Now, we're at least storing a little bit more than 50. And we gotta wait. We gotta keep everything small and kind of compact and hopefully, hopefully. It's not so bad. It looks like we definitely want more power here. I'll come running up this way, because the closer I get, the better it will be. And... Come on. Boop, 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 boop. Well, you gotta build it, man. What are you waiting for? So I'm not too sure exactly how I want to handle going about this first. You know, should I get more power? Because we're already having a little bit of power issues. and At least that's growing. Or... I do need to set this stuff up so it's already crafting. That's the key. We're working on it, though. First, I need to get the assembler and the smelters, which is happening very shortly. After I get the 10, we'll be back and we'll start setting up our first deal. Probably going to be those wind turbines. Alright, first thing we gotta do is solve our already power issue. And the way we're gonna pull that off, we're gonna slowly make our way over here. All right, and to build this, what do we need? Holy crap. It's kind of ambitious already. So we need six iron gears, uh, iron ingots, and one iron gear, and three of the, what is it called again? I already forgot. Magnetic coil. All right. So let's move away. I'm going to pick this thing up for now. I think we'll just do it right here so it's all close by. So we're going to do exactly what it asked for. It wants six. So we're going to need six of these guys. Which we don't have six. So we'll hit four for the moment. And while we're doing that, I'm going to grab these guys and we'll be back when I can build a six. All right, so I'm just going to make it go right here. And we're going to do six of them. You built a right smelter, a which can did. smelt basic materials, such as iron ingots and copper ingots automatically. While you want to make the raw materials and products get in and out of it autonomously, you okay. need to use sorters and conveyor belts. So we're going to go ahead set this thing up so it's making the six just for this one production i don't know if we're producing enough ore already but this is what we're gonna do and we're gonna be very uh saving i guess we'll say we're gonna try and save as much as we can get another 10 of those i thought i already had six what i do i made another one I have three. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Are we, okay, sure. Anyway, moving on. Now, can I pull out right here? Let's find out. 
if it even lets me pull out from this corner or if it's too close or something it does okay lack of item huh well, we'll build that I should be making more yep right now good we need them there we go we'll finish that off and we'll put you right there and you right there now they're powered and you have a building without recipe set Please set I, the recipe you want. I know, man. After I selecting know. the recipe, there's probably you can a way to turn him off. Use the less than huh? key to copy the recipe, and the greater than key to paste the next building that needs to set the same recipe. Sure, I never even paid attention to that. After I'll try that out. Recipe, you can anyway. use the less than key to copy the recipe, and the greater than key to paste the next. Why, why building are you telling it to, to me twice, man? Recipe. All right. First, I want to know: Is that even going to be enough? I mean, can it handle it? Or do I need to do, like, another line? You know, with it being at tier 1s, I don't remember anymore. Well. I don't know if that's going to work. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay for the moment. For the moment, that's fine. But, as it stands, to build our power, we have 6. We have them working as of right now so we're gonna go ahead and collect those is this through the assembler yeah through the assembler we need a gear right one gear how do we get that one gear it's just one ingot okay so we're gonna go ahead and make one of these guys right here and come off this one Lack of item. Cool. This is going to be the going on issue, isn't it? At least until we get moving. Alright. And we are so slow. We got to keep up. We got to stay close to our stuff or this is not going to go very well. You can now click the planet thumbnail button in the lower left corner of the oh, screen. I can? Or cool. press the M key to try the planet view mode. Hey, are you happy? I did it. In the planet view mode, you can hold down the middle mouse button drag, rotate the angle of view, and hold down the Come right on. mouse button. Drag to roll the angle of view. Press oh, N key you know what? to point to the front to the north pole. I like that. That's cool. Oh. In the planet of. view mode, slide the mouse wheel to enter the star map mode. They're still not making it up here, though. I'm a little worried about all that. I might have messed myself up here. I might need more than one. I shouldn't have put this so close. Probably should not have put it so close. I probably need to pull out of here a little bit faster. Oh, hold on. Finish this thing. Right, because then this is going to go in there. And then we need to set up... Where are you at? Five. Hit the five button. You got to go at least that far apart. You're going to make a gear. Alright, so that's one for one. Right? Yep, so we make the gears. One for one. And then we need... Oof, that's, that's hurtful. We need three of these guys. What good news is, it makes two. So we really only need two of them. So that's two assemblers. But... The magnet. Man, this is turning into quite a pricey little thing just to set up for one component. We haven't even begun yet. I'm only choosing power because of... Uh, I like... I like the power that you don't have to deal with. Which 
which might not be a good idea, but this is the method I'm choosing, so we're going for it. I don't know if this is going to work out better than our last playthrough or not. We'll see. So if I do one of these, right, that should pull out twice as fast. And I'm leaving this thing alone. I'm afraid to put too many of them you know, all at once here. I'm trying to keep it all compact. I don't know if this is really, really worth it or not. We'll see. But now for the next step, which you see what I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up and I'll be back. I'm going to just set up another thing for magnetic coils. All right, here we go. The first creation and the start of a whole new thing. And hopefully it does what I want it to do, <laughs> which uh, it's not going to work very well. We don't have power. Power part is hurting pretty bad. But overall, I think it'll work. At least this will generate me some power. I can go ahead and start placing these guys down. Why won't it go in? Oh, there we go. There we go. We have one. And I am definitely going to be adding them as they pop out. Just to keep this thing hopefully getting up to power. Yeah, we're so hurting. But each one should make it a little bit better. At least that's what I hope. Each one I put down should then start adding... A little bit more power. Thus making this whole system work, I hope. What are we up to? Ready? Let's see. Well, we hit two. Oh, nice. Now we're getting a little bit more. Something like that. And then lack of item. It looks like I might be on my way. Lack of item. Come on. How are we doing now? I think we're getting there. Kind of. Oops. There we go. I believe this will do it for us. So we keep peeking. But we're hitting 100% satisfactory, so now everything can run at its max, which is what I needed to do. So this thing will stop once it gets to 100, right? Because I'm not going to go any higher than that. As far as all this goes, I know I'll be restructuring this eventually. Uh, it's not a final thing, but this is a concept. This is what I'll be doing. All right, I'm only going to use what I need to produce one set of items. And I will go, I will work off camera and, and start setting up this stuff so that it's always producing the items I need. In particular, now I'm going to do the, the conveyor belts and then the sorters and then these guys and the miners and yeah. I'm going to set up each one individually. I don't know how I want to handle the ore part. Like, do I want to just keep using this one, so one spot, just keep pulling it out? Because eventually this will back up and this won't be using anything. But, you know, that will run out. And there is another one over here. I don't know, I don't know. That's something I'm going to figure out later. Yeah, I mean, look at that. This has got some copper and a nice gigantic ore mine here. See, I know I could do the math out. I don't actually know what that thing is doing. How fast is this mine? Let's see, what does it say? It says it does 30 
per minute per vein. Okay. And with that being said, I could really calculate out the math if I needed to. But I think I might use one miner per setup. So then this is done. Only way I'm, and I could still use this, but I'm going to make another miner over here. And that's how I'll start producing another one. So this one miner's job is to produce enough for this setup. Just to give me more of these powers, which is working. And that's what I'm going to start doing. So right now, before we advance any further, except for... Oh, wait, I don't think I can do anything. Yeah, no, I can't do nothing. We're not there yet. I gotta set up everything for what I have here so that it makes it easier for me to go forward. But that's it. This is the amount I'm gonna work with, and that's all. So one area devoted to one particular thing. Oh, so only it maxed out at 20. Okay, so yeah, it's going to be done even faster than I thought. And then these guys can just backlog if they're not already. They are. Which works for me. Yep. I split this up into three just because I didn't know if that would have enough. But clearly I didn't need to. I could have kept this as one. The whole thing stopped production. There we go. Our, our miners will eventually slow down too after they fill up their thing. Oh, there's another one right here too. Good, good. So yeah, that's the plan. That's the game plan of what I'll be doing from here on out. It's the start of a whole new adventure that I hope works out better. I'm going to consolidate what I use. I'm still going to have the same principles that I was doing before. And that, I mean, I'm going to make each item. So I have a, a little backlog of each item. However, I'm not going to do it at such a mass scale as I did before. So we have this set up. We'll do another one somewhere else with another setup and so on. <laughs> this will get messy, but again, I'm going to try and keep everything on this planet as well, right? So if I, I completely make this planet a complete and utter mess, that's fine. And then as I branch out into the other planets... Unknown, huh? It doesn't even tell me. Anyways, I branch out to the other planets. Hopefully, by the time I branch out, I am at my Logitech mining and whatnot. Or whatever, the Interstellar. I don't even remember where that was now. Hmm. Well, anyway, we'll get there when we get there. All right, here. Planetary and then Interstellar. Hopefully, I'm here by the time I need to go into the next one. So that I can turn the other planets into mining planets. No production whatsoever until all the resources are ripped from that planet. At least that's my plan. So then it, I can really, I can really make a, a nice, neat, organized deal going on there. But we have a lot to go through. So that's that. I'm Abby Durf. I will see you guys in the next one later.